Hey guys, this is Erwin with SkiWithIrwin.com. Hey, glad you can uh, follow me on a couple of things today. I just thought uh, I'm going to give you a little different twist of, uh, uh, of maybe do the side edges uh, on your skis. Take a quick look. This is my ski from last year. Actually, I've been skiing on this little guy here um, for, uh, for quite a bit now. This is a World Cup Rebel. I use it as a GS ski, as an overall ski, and it's really nicely tuned. I summarized it. You can see the wax is ready to come off now and get ready for the season. But I want to concentrate today on the ski edge, and that means the edge angle that we need in order to carve some great, great turns, or actually to do some carving. And then I just want to show you my new ski for this season. This is a brand spanking new season, an ice speed, uh, brand spanking ski for from head even comes with a cool sticker that I'm going to take off. This is the ice speed. It was created on the, on the, along the sides or alongside of the super shape. So it's got a beautiful um, uh, side cut to it. It's got 68 underfoot. That means the width underfoot represents more of a racing uh, ski in that regards. And then it's got a 119 shovel width. Uh, very similar to the uh, the super shape I think is only a couple of centimeters wider and it's got a 99 tail so that makes up that beautiful um, uh, curse technology um, head ski so first I want to do is just check that comes out of the factory with a beautiful uh, uh, texture on it as you can see right there maybe you can see that but that's what the texture of that new ski looks like and then what I want to check and see is the edge, what the factory edge is set up. So I'm going to do that first, however, with my already last year's ski because I know I had a three degree bevel on that ski. And if, if you want to take a quick look, maybe a little bit closer, I can show you what I'm talking about when I talk about the bevel. So I'm basically taking my edge or my, my little square. There are other devices. I just use a plain 90 degree square. Uh, square and I go down and take a look at it and if it shows me some kind of a bevel bevel or light in that uh, area and I can maybe zoom in on that camera here a little bit more so when I tip this we'll see light in that 90 degree corner and that shows me what kind of a side bevel there is typically um, we don't necessarily want to ski with 90 degrees bevel but we certainly want to do maybe a one or a two or a three degree bevel so if I would just do normally a, two, a three degree bevel, bevel, just like this ski already has on it, I can just come in here and if I want to check that I have indeed a three degree, I take a black magic marker and mark my edge just a little bit black. So when I go over with my, with my uh, um, edger and set at 97 or 87 which gives me a three degree bevel i know when i can check basically if that will be correct or not so let's just give it a look at it and i'm going to pull this down um, just to make sure that uh, everything is secured this bench normally sits a little bit uh, differently but if i bring that down here and file my edge that way I can actually tell it takes off evenly that black mark that I just put on that edge. So just checking that, I know uh, if that black mark comes off evenly at three degrees with the, my side bevel cutter, then I'm set perfectly at three degrees, or um, uh, I put a three degree bevel on my edges. So that's just to check. Now I want to I want to do the same thing with the new ski. So I want to take a look and see. What the new ski just out of the factory comes with, and uh, and again I'll take my handy dandy 90 degree thing just to take a quick look at it, and I can tell right away it does come with a bevel already. So I want to see what kind of a bevel that is, and I could measure that, or I could actually get a much more precise uh, meter to to check that out. But I'll basically do the same thing. I can put my mark on it, uh, my marker on it, my black mar marker on it, and uh, and then I'll uh, check that with my sight uh, guide, with my sight cutter, 
to see whether or not I'm pretty much in the same uh, line of thinking here, either two or three degree. Now obviously with a high speed ski like that, or a, uh, it's got a, uh, what is it got? It's got an 18 meter radius, so I want to put in here, or I'll put on here a very good, at least a three degree bevel, so that I know I can keep that ski on edge very nicely. So let's just check and see how close that comes to that 